Carmen's gang is bankrolled by the Corporation for Public Broadcasting and viewers like you. This program is brought to you by the Hotel for Family Fun. All over the world. Holiday Inn. And... This program is brought to you by... Toyota. Today's episode, Tango Mysterioso. <laughs> Gumshoes, Carmen San Diego's band of blasphemous black hearts has struck again. This time, they stole the musical soul from Buenos Aires, Argentina. The Argentines have a rich cultural life, reflecting both their European and Native American roots. But if you wanted to sum up their culture with one sound and sight, you might just choose the tango. The dance and the sensuous, brooding music that accompanies it began in the slums of Buenos Aires and became internationally popular in the 1920s. The fad faded elsewhere, but Argentina developed the tango into an art form. There are professional exhibitions, dance halls that cater to tangoing couples, and hit tango records. But yesterday, Nimoy, Carmen's interplanetary instigator, TKO'd the tango. Just one blast from her subatomic neutralizer, and the top tangoers became complete quatzes. Your mission, gumshoes. Wrangle the tango from Nimoy. Return it to Argentina, and then bring Carmen San Diego to justice. The crooks on the run, let justice be done. Carmen San Diego. And one of these people could find her. Lakshmi Natarajan. Wesley Liao. Tawahida Baker. And this man is special agent in charge of training new recruits, Greg Lee. Hi, guys. How are you? Okay. Good, good. Well, you heard about the case. We're going to start you off now with 50 Acme Crime Bucks. Anytime you answer a question correctly, we'll give you 10 more Crime Bucks. And the two of you with the highest scores at the end of this round will then proceed to the next round. Okay? Chief, let's go. Greg, Nimoy has stolen the tango, and there's no time to lose. Here's the profile on Nimoy. Moy, 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 She thinks the Big Bang was the first safe-cracking job in the universe. And here's what we know so far. Gumshoes, Acme Tango Net has tracked Nimoy to the only country on Earth where slaves carried out a successful rebellion. Toussaint Louverture led the 1790s uprising against the French. He was a slave trained as a veterinarian, could read Latin and French, and was said to be the grandson of an African king. By 1801, he ruled the entire island of Hispaniola. He was later captured by Napoleon's troops, and died in prison, but his dream of an independent country survived. The French never retook the nation, and it became independent in 1804. Now, get down to the island of Hispaniola and nab Nimoy. Greg. Well, do, Chief. Okay, Gumshoes, name the country. Is it Haiti, Jamaica, or Bahamas? Remember the clues that we heard? Only country where slaves successfully rebelled and uh, island of Hispaniola. Come up with an answer as quickly as you can, please trying to find Nimoy and the tango. Lakshmi's ready, so is Wesley, and so is Tawahida. Okay, Lakshmi, we'll start with you. What do you say? I chose Haiti. Haiti, what do you think, Wesley? I chose Haiti. Haiti, and Taw how do you say it again? Tawahida. Tawahida, I said it right, right? Yeah. Okay, tell me your answer then, Tawahida. I chose Jamaica. Jamaica, the answer we're looking for is Haiti. Nice job, Lakshmi and Wesley. I'm sorry about that, Tawahida. I practiced it so long, I, I, I got nervous. So anyway, but it's a lovely name. We'll talk about it in just a little bit. Lakshmi, uh, tell me a little bit about some uh, pets of yours, will you please? Well, I had hamsters, and they always used to get out of their cage. Yes. And one day they were behind the stereo. So when I turned it on, they were like jumping up and down. <laughs> they like freaked out and ran out. Yeah. Oh, that's very nice. Good. And Wesley, you have some pets too. Yeah, um, I have a ferret, and um, when I play with it and it gets really excited, it like runs into chairs and things. <laughs> It's really confusing. So it just rams into furniture. Yeah. <laughs> it's very interesting, okay? And Tawahida, you too have a very interesting uh, cat, I believe, right? Yes. He thinks he's a part of the family. Yes, an actual human being. 
Yeah. <laughs> and and what does it do? You told me told me about the uh, the mirror. Uh, yeah, he likes to get in front of our um, entertainment center and look at himself in the mirror. <laughs> Do a little grooming, maybe? <laughs> Very nice. Okay. Well, glad all of you guys are on the case. Have a great time today. Please welcome them all to the show, if you would, please. All right, we're off to a good start here. Uh, for our next clue now, we're getting an urgent message from Acme Special Informant Net. Watch. Greg, oh my you've got to do something. This Amy came to town, and now we can't stop doing the tango. This is corn country, son, and farm folks have to get up uh, early. Just because Fred Astaire was born in this state doesn't mean we all like dancing. Last I heard, the <coughs> alien was headed for the state's eastern border. Must mm. be planning to cross the Missouri River. What? Get here quick, Greg. Our feet can't hold out much longer. <coughs> Can we please have a nice round of applause for the finest informant ever on this show? Ah, thank you all so much. You, ready? you want to try the answer now? Here's what we're looking for. Name the state, if you would, please. Is it Kansas, Iowa, or Nebraska? Remember the clues that we heard? State where Fred Astaire was born, Omaha, and Missouri River runs along state's eastern border. Ah, that was very good, Mom. Nice job. Tawahid is ready, so is uh, Wesley. Still looking for an answer. Lakshmi is ready. Wesley's ready. And we'll start with Lakshmi. I'm a little confused myself. Don't worry about it. Lakshmi, go right ahead. What do you I say? I chose Nebraska. Nebraska. Huh? Wesley, what do you think? I chose Nebraska. Nebraska. Tawahidi. I chose Kansas. Kansas. The answer we're looking for is Nebraska. Nice job, guys. <laughs> <laughs> okay. This is, this is going to be a rough show for me. So anyway, Lakshmi, uh, you have 70 crime bucks. Wesley has 70. And Tawa, uh, Tawahidi. What is this? Tawahida. Tawahida, I'm sorry. Tawahida has 50 crime bucks. Okay, for number three, we have not just heard that uh, Nimoy left Nebraska and went to Quebec. So, that means... All right, guys, that only means one thing. It's time for the lightning mount round, which means all of these questions have to do with uh, Nimoy's most recent known whereabouts, which is Quebec. Each one is worth five crime bucks. Uh, listen carefully. Here we go. Uh, number one, all citizens of Canada are called Canadians, but what is the specific name for the French-speaking residents of Quebec. Are they called Quebecians, Cubists, or Quebecois? Tawahida. Cubist. Uh, Cubist is not right. Wesley. Uh, uh, Quebecians. Quebecians is not right either. Foxby, you want to take a shot? Um, We're looking for Quebecians, Cubists, or Quebecois. Quebecois. Quebecois is right. Nice job. Five for you. Number two. The Quebecois have a strong French heritage, but one of their vacation days is adapted from a British holiday. It takes place on the day after Christmas. Is it called Wrapping Day, Boxing Day, or Wrestling Day? Uh, Lakshmi. Wrapping Day? Wrapping Day is not right. Wesley? Wrestling Day? It's not Wrestling Day either. T Tawahida? Boxing Day. Boxing Day's right. Nice job. Part for you. <laughs> Number three. In 1980, Quebec residents voted down a critical referendum. What proposal did they reject? Was it becoming an independent country, becoming part of Maine, or becoming part of France? Wesley. Becoming an independent country? Exactly right. Becoming an, an independent country. Good. Okay, so that means at the end of three and the lightning round, Lakshmi has 75, Wesley has 75, and to Tawahida, you've just got on the board now with 55 crime bucks. That's the way to do that thing. Now, for Greg, my office pronto. Yes, ma'am. I'm going to be right oh. there. You guys stay here. This, uh, this looks like it could be serious. Be right back. Chief, what's up? Oh, Greg, I have the worst headache. Do you have any aspirin? No, huh? no, Chief. I'm sorry I'm traveling light today. It's really slowing me down. Well, you're in luck, Chief. I just read in the uh, Acme Cranial First Aid Manual that applying light pressure to three specific pressure points can make a headache disappear. Really? Yeah. You want to try it? Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, one goes right here, mm -hmm. and one goes right here, and one right here. Oh. Huh? And then we switch. Huh? Oh, Greg. How's that? It's like magic. My headache's gone away. You give yourself a pat on the back. Right, Chief. <laughs> you know, now that my headache's gone, I'll make an offer. I'll award a trip anywhere in North America to the gumshoe who puts Carmen San Diego in the planet. <laughs> all right. Oh, that's great, Chief. You know what? I'll go out there and I'll tell him all about it, okay? All right. Okay. Oh, oh, Greg, yeah, uh, Chief. you left one of your hands. Uh, keep it, Chief. You may need a hand later on. Oh, 